Hello everyone, Paul from High Tech Legion. And what do I have in this box? Yet another launch from NVIDIA, the second in about a week. This is going to be the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 770. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at it. So now let's go ahead and take a look at it. Of course it's from NVIDIA so it says GeForce GTX on the box. It's a little hard to see with the lighting in here even though I do have it fairly bright. It has the NVIDIA logo on um, towards the bottom and it also says NVIDIA up on the top. Of course this is a slip so the actual box is inside of that and we'll go ahead and unbox that. Now I'm just going to throw this stuff around because I just want to get it out of the box because I know you're pretty excited to probably take a look at this. Once we open the box, what's in the box is a GeForce GTX 770 sticker. And then of course inside the static wrap in that box is the actual card itself. Put that down, get rid of this. So we'll take it out of the anti-static bag. And let's take a look at the card. As you can see, it has the silver anodized casing like the GTX 690, the Titan, and last week's launch, the 770. I mean the 780, I'm sorry. It says GeForce GTX on the front. Right here are your two power connectors, which would be a 6-pin and an 8-pin. Let's go ahead and flip it to the front here. You have two DVI connectors, an HDMI, and a display port. It is PCIe 3.0 compatible. And of course, it, this is the reference board, so it's black PCB. Now let's go ahead and take a look here at the actual heatsink. There is a window so you can see the heatsink, and of course, it does have the new fan. This is the new NVIDIA cooling system and right out the back this is where it exhausts through the back. So in any case let's go over a little bit of the specifications on this car. It has four graph graphics processing clusters and eight streaming multiprocessors. 1536 CUDA cores with 128 texture units. Its base clock is 1046 with a boost clock of 1085. Memory clock is 7010 megahertz and the cache size of that is going to be 512 kilobytes. Total video memory, of course this is 2 gigs, they also are going to have a 4 gig version. It's 256 bit. As I said it does have the two dual uh, DVI connectors one HDMI and one display port. Of course it's a dual slot cooling solution as you can see. You're going to need two slots to uh, just going to populate two slots on the back of your case. And how many transistors does it have? 3.54 billion. Now I don't know why some people are all what do you call about transistors but there you go that's how many transistors it has. Now it does require a 600 watt power supply and its total TDP is going to be 230 watts. So that was our quick look at that. Let's go back. I'll talk about the card a little bit. I'll talk about the performance. We'll look at some benchmarks and we'll get on with everything. Now that we've taken a look at the 
NVIDIA GeForce GTX 770. Let's talk about it a little bit. Of course, it has the nicer encasement on it. And of course, with an increase of performance, you're going to get a little bit of an increase in wattage. So it does have a 230 watt total TDP. Now, a lot of you might be saying, okay, well, this is a rebranded 680. Yeah, technically it is. But they upgraded the memory on it. They've also uh, added some cores to it. They have GPU Boost 2.0 on it now, which also keeps the uh, keeps the the boost clock up at higher temperatures. So you're not going to lose the boost what you did with the 680. Usually around say 68 degrees with the 680, the boost used to start dropping even with the 670. So this is an increase in performance. It is right on line or better than the. AMD 7970. Well, let's say it's better because in our benchmarks, and you'll see in the review and in this video when I show you the benchmarks, it does do better than the 7970. So, in any case, we're going to go ahead and give this an Editor's Choice Award. Now, price-wise, I don't have the price on it yet, so I can't tell you what it's going to be. We could speculate anywhere from $399 to $450, somewhere in that area. But you will receive an increase in performance if you have an old 570 or a 470. Less power consumption than it. It also is going to give you maybe twice, double the performance of that old 570 and 470, which is another great thing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this down and we'll talk about the GeForce Experience a little bit. GeForce Experience is something that NVIDIA did. It has been launched and basically what they did is you download the app, you go ahead and it'll detect the games that you have in your system and it'll also offer optimized settings for those games. So all you'll need to do is download the GeForce Experience from NVIDIA when you buy one of these cards. You could use it on any of your older cards too. Don't think it's just for the 700 series. It's not. So go ahead and download the GeForce Experience. Go ahead, go ahead and hit the optimized settings. What it'll do is they fix the settings to make it to where you're going to get at least 40 frames per second while you're gaming to give you a nice gaming experience. Of course if you want to set the settings on your own you can still do that. But they've done a lot of work with this and I like it. They also have Shadow which will record the last 20 minutes of your gaming so you can keep it on you know, video. Just say you're having a really good frag day and you want to record it, you could go ahead and do that. It'll record in H.264. And before I let you guys go, let me go ahead and do something. Come here, Bacino. Come here, puppy. Come here. Come here. And I just want to say something to one of my friends Elric. And buddy, I've been using Bacino as a prop for about nine years, oh, eight years now. And I know that a lot of your viewers say that sometimes I copy from you, but I do have to say this time you copied from me. But in any case, I'm just poking you fun at, some fun at you, Elric. All right, Bacino, I'm going to go ahead and put you down. So everybody, that has been our overview, unboxing, review of the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 770. Remember, with over a thousand videos uploaded to our YouTube channel, if you haven't seen it at High Tech Legion, you might not have seen it at all. Visit us at www.hightechlegion.com. Of course, like us on Facebook, facebook.com HTL Reviews. Follow us on Twitter, twitter.com front slash high tech legion and of course make sure you subscribe to us on this channel you're watching us now stay thirsty my friends have a great day Bye -bye.